everybody. In this tutorial, I'm going to create a star system map for one of the many systems in this sector of space. This particular map was made using Campaign Cartographer, and it's actually uh, being prepared for a science fiction role-playing game I'm working on. I'm just going to drill down to a certain sector of uh, space there. There we go. This little sun here is going to be fully mapped out. It's called Brilliance. So we'll expand out here. In this tutorial, we're going to look at some of the features of Cosmographer, and we're also going to learn some techniques that you can use in other mapping activities, mainly how to trim lines. So let's get right to it. Right, to get started, I'll first of all let you know that we're going to be using Campaign Cartographer, which of course you all know I love, and another product called Cosmographer. Now when you get the Cosmographer add-in product of Campaign Cartographer, you'll install it, and it will place this little button here which gives you the Cosmographer menu and all the tools and templates that you need. To start our system map, I'm going to call up a new template. So I'm going to click on File, then I'm going to go New. First of all, it's going to ask me if I want to save my current map. Um, I'm going to say No, because I've already saved it. And then I'm going to select Cosmographer Templates. And I'm going to select Pick a Predefined Template. Click Next. Campaign Cartographer will now present to you all of the templates that uh, have been created for Cosmographer. Now you can see that there's, there's actually a lot of templates here. Um, these first few are actually from the annual uh, from last year, I think it was. Um, so you might not have those. But all of these other templates are in the Cosmographer product. You can create uh, Starship deck plans, um, sector maps for Traveller, um, sector maps uh, very similar to the uh, design which I've just shown you uh, on that previous screen um, space jammer um, templates, uh, travel uh, ship templates and so forth but this is the one I want here, the large system map template so I'm going to click on it right, once the template comes up you'll see three strips the first strip represents the distance of planets from the Sun in light minutes the second strip is the distance in light uh, hours, and the third is in light weeks. Let's start by turning on our grid. Now, we'll just quickly zoom in on that by right-clicking, and you'll see that we've currently got it set to one unit equals two snaps. Now, this is interesting that this, this particular template uses units rather than feet or meters or whatever. That's because for a start, we're using different types of units for the different strips. So on the first strip, one unit will be equal to one light minute. On the second strip, it will be equal to a light hour. And on the third strip, a light week. So that's something to keep in mind when you're uh, uh, using this particular style. I'm going to click on OK, and we'll leave it as that. And let's start by drawing in a sun. Now currently we've got the sun layer selected, which is all good. Um, we've got a sun symbol layer selected, which is also interesting. I'm just going to draw a simple round circle for each of the sun symbols here. So I'm just going to zoom in a bit. Now this is going to be highly stylized. Oh, we'll make sure that the color is yellow. As you can see, the color is yellow up here. So I click on my little draw circle tool, make sure my snaps are on. I'll get myself neatly into the middle about here, click at the beginning of the circle, hold down and draw out. There we go, we'll give ourselves a nice size sun. Now it's drawn this but it is hollow, that's because our fill style over here is hollow. Let me just go through these very very quickly. This box here tells you what sheet the symbol that you're drawing or the elements that you're drawing is going to go on. Sheets affect the um, way which symbols are drawn. So it applies graphical effects to them. That's the color. That's the pen width, the width of a line if you're drawing a line. That's the layer. The layer is how you group all, um, structures together. This is the line style, in which case is solid, and this is the fill style, which in this case is hollow. So we've just got a little yellow line on the sun layer and on the sun sheet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use this button here, Change Properties, and click it. And I'm going to select that line which I just drew, and then right-click and go Do It. 
you can now see that I can adjust most of these properties that are across the top here but just for this thing which I have drawn I'm going to create the fill style so I'm ticking it and I'm going to make it solid alphabetical order, there it is, solid and if I click on OK I better save my map now so I'm going to go to save now and I'm going to call it a name in fact I'm going to go save as and I'm going to call it Brilliance Star System so there's our big sun now based on what we saw we know that um, a number of planets are within several light minutes so there's going to be a cluster of planets around here one of the things that you'll need to consider when making your star system is how far each planet is from the Sun itself. Uh, this is a quick snapshot of the distance of planets in our sol solar system, Sol. Um, as you can see the majority of planets are within uh, light minutes of the Sun but as you get further out the planets get increasingly uh, larger distances up until about four light hours. So I have two choices for clicking this Orbit Tool button here. If I just left click, it will give me the default. If I right click on it though, it will show me that I've got a number of different types of orbits. The default is, uh, I believe, the small circle orbit. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to come to the center of my star. I'm going to click my mouse and I'm going to draw my orbit out. Now the first system, the, sorry, the first orbit in this system is going to be just two light minutes away from the Sun so I'm going to click there now I can keep drawing circles so I'm going to draw another one at about four light minutes and then one at maybe I think that's seven light minutes by the looks of it so a bit, bit of a cluster and then I'm going to draw one all the way out here I'm not too sure exactly how far that is and then I think I'll have a closer one in there and we'll leave it at that so I'm going to now expand now what you can see here is here's the orbit lines for our various systems within several light minutes but what you're seeing here is that these orbits because they're a circle are being drawn out over these other areas we don't want that in order to eliminate these excess lines or these, these parts of the circles that go beyond the borders of this strip we're going to use a really powerful function which I've not actually talked about in any other tutorial and that's this function here the trim to entry